So we're back looking at the HB1B, the bad one, and as you can tell, it seems to work quite well and receive. And quite badly on transmit. So let me switch over to the dummy load and I'll show you something. And I need your help on this one. So the first thing I do is I put a knob with the set screw loose over the top of the tuning knob because flipping it over, it starts pushing buttons and often ends up off band and won't transmit, etc. So that's the uh, protection cover for the button. So the story is, I was, in fact, I'll show you just a bit. So we will, uh, let's see, we'll turn it off and I'll get the probe connected over to the base of the output transistor. That's a fairly convenient spot to go grabbing here. And uh, so it goes emitter collector base. We'll just grab onto the right side lead and we'll put that knob cover back on and we'll turn it on. And you hear the M, that means we've got a manual paddle. We're at 7035, so it should transmit there. And then you can look up at the scope and I can only do this for about a second because in the midst of this, I found out that the drive to the final output and if you remember, we have our stages A through F. So we have A for the final output. Maybe I've got them backwards, but we have B, C, D, E, and F where this is all the way back in from the DDS output. And so there's something odd going on because I measured the input here at point C, the base of the final output was 12 megahertz when I was trying to uh, transmit at seven megahertz and it was intermittently switching back and forth. <clears throat> and then I thought I smelled heating and I felt the output and it was cool. Well, it turns out that the the uh, main processor itself is what's heating. So that's why I have to be really careful. I don't want to blow that. So that main processor, this is a little harder to see on camera, but let's see. So the main processor is there, the uh, pick, 16F884, and I've measured the VDD input on pin 7 and pin 28, and they're both at 4.96 volts. That's on receive. I haven't measured it yet on transmit, but it's working fine on receive and uh, is cool to the touch. So the question is, what load, I assume it's trying to uh, supply current, to something during transmit, but I don't know what it is that is probably a short to something trying to drive it high. Um, there aren't that many things that actually connect directly to the MCU. Um, I think we do um, here, I think we drive these FETs that drive relays. So it's possible there's a bad FET maybe, where instead of driving a high impedance gate of a FET, Maybe that's shorted. Um, other than that, I'm trying to think of anything that it actually drives directly. I think it drives the attenuator, and that works, and it drives, um, I think it, and again, these relays, they drive the, the filter band selection on the output. There's nothing in the transmit chain that is driven by the MCU. The key line comes off of the key or chip, which is actually separate. Um, the MCU drives the display and it has push button inputs, but it doesn't have a lot of outputs. So that's the good question. And it obviously does drive the DDS directly, but it seems that the DDS is putting out uh, receive signals normally. So I don't think it's the DDS. So I'll show you the output briefly. Now that I know that it's probably causing harm to do it, I won't do it very long, but we'll zoom back and look at the scope. And you can see, see if I can get it to sync. Okay, there's the synced signal. I'll try to get the delta F on those points. 
So you can see that's somewhere around seven megahertz. Something, anyway, it's not, it's not 12, and I, <clears throat> I don't want to heat it up. If I leave it driving, I think that's what happens. I think the MCU heats up and something bad happens, so I don't want to heat it up and do that now. Um, and it's also unique that maybe it's something, let's see, when it is driving seven volts, or pardon me, seven megahertz, if I look at the output, We'll get back up to five volts per division there. You can see that we do have like a 15 volt peak to peak transmit signal. If I hold it down, it changes because the input drive changes to 12 megahertz. And um, just that little bit of transmitting, I can feel the MCU getting warm. So I'm gonna leave it at that and see if you guys can uh, take a look I'll put a link to the schematic for the HB1B in the comments or in the description. And if you guys can look around and speculate, the only guess I have is maybe these FETs. So I may try to remove one and see if that's the source of the extra current draw on the MCU. But I don't have any great ideas at this point. And I have to be reasonably careful about removing surface mount parts so I can get them back on again. So the other thing I was going to try to look for was, um, I think it was uh, Lynn maybe made the suggestion of measuring the overall current to the device. And I'm pretty sure he, was, he nailed it on that one because I think if I measure the overall current to the device, it must go up. Uh, more than we would expect on transmit for it to heat the MCU like that. It's uh, heating it in, I don't know, maybe th three or four seconds. It heats up hot, hotter than you want to touch. So I don't want to ruin the, that pick chip either. So anyway, there's some speculation, no answers yet. So it isn't as simple as a transmit problem. We'll have to have to put the collective heads together and see what we can find. So thanks for watching. I'm going to go dig around a little bit.